We're currently experiencing a tornado warning. <laughs> so let's go. Let's get hog wild. An update on our travel situation. We're currently experiencing a tornado warning. <laughs> um, so we were on the plane for like two hours and then they were like, oh, there's now a tornado warning, so you guys have to get off and shelter in the airport. I don't even, where are we supposed to go? <laughs> I'm pretty, I'm pretty sheltered right now. <laughs> so. Commodity, commodity classic starting off real strong here. Mason, how's your travel experience? What's your conspiracy theory? <laughs> What's your travel vibes? Hmm? What's your travel vibes? <clears throat> We're off to the rodeo. So we're here at the Commodity Classic with Planet Earth Agronomy, which they sell their products. So, do you want to say anything about their products? Oh yeah, we sell their products with our spraying business. And so we are now off to the rodeo. So let's go. Let's get home wild. What do you say we come home with a Brahmin? A what? A Brahmin. We're home. flying home. Yeah, we can take one on the car. On, we can take one on the cargo net. <laughs> <laughs> that might break the cargo net. You're coming home with me. Tip your hat at me. Howdy, partner. <laughs> Yeehaw! We got a Rooster Cowboy and a meant to be cow gal. I could have done rodeo, I think, in a different life. In a different life, sure. Me and my horse could be out here in barrel racing. Maybe we'd still go, but we'll retire from jumping and go to barrel racing. You win some big money, I'll go to your own. Avery's got his new personality out, ready to go to the Commodity Classic day one. This is our first, <laughs> Mason's just worried about the Uber. This is our first time at the Commodity Classic, so let's go explore. Root and toot and cobble. <laughs> We are not John Deere people, but we do have to check out the new equipment. We're actually here for a new Holland thing tomorrow, but we will be checking it out. Okay, boys, what's your thoughts? We got me a coloring book for entertainment in Shipshawana and Mason a bouncing ball here in Texas. It's, 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 uh, it happens to bounce. It happens. <laughs> it's a bouncing ball. <laughs>
What do you think about the green paint? You know, it's just cool to see new innovation and stuff. But like, I kind of like our blue stuff. Do you? A lot better. Not a lot better. A lot better. I like blue. But this is cool to see. <laughs> <laughs> What's your professional farmer opinion? It's a big hood. I can't really see it right in front of you very well. I was going to say, I feel like that's... Behind you is really good. Visibility is pretty good, but the hood is massive, which it's a big engine, so... That's cool. I like these foot pegs off to the side for sure. The seat's nice. It's still green. It's not a new Holland though. <laughs> it's the next day here at Commodity Classic and the boys get to speak with New Holland on a panel about combines. So we'll insert some footage of that. Hopefully they do us proud. Would you ever tell us? Yes. I think everything in this booth is on their wish list. Sprayer, drill, of course, the combine. This is a me size combine, and that's the boy size. Wilson, <laughs> central Wisconsin, uh, right next to Madison, basically. My brother Mason, we, uh, we run a couple thousand acres up there, and yeah, we run uh, lots of New Holland tractors, got a New Holland sprayer, and a couple of New Holland combines, so definitely uh, yeah, New Holland guys, blue guys for sure. So. so the first question is, what, what's changed the most since you guys have all started harvesting? I guess we're all similar in age, but a lot's changed since I've been in the agriculture the last 10 years or so, but... It, it's been cool to see your dads and grandpas, how much it's changed from open cab stations all the way to self-driving tractors. What, what do you guys think the most change has been on your farm or with the technology going forward? Um, when I started like picking corn, for instance, it was 2388, now you're in a 8.9, so it's quite the difference for sure. But uh, yeah, speed, I mean, just, you're getting more done than 10 years ago so yeah i'd have to agree uh the speed is a lot a big one of the bigger things i've noticed you know when you're in the 21 and 23 88s before we switched to the new holly combines you pick corn at four miles an hour and that was just what you did you never pushed it you couldn't push it now it's you're changing speeds throughout the field and then i think one of the biggest improvements is the technology and it you know going to automation now and getting into that realm yeah it's one of those things you get get out of the cab five six times a day and what i really liked about the automation on the one we ran is like we're in situations where we're switching varieties um trees around you i mean and like especially this year we had a really bad drought out by us so like you'll get in spots where it's you're going from 250 bushel corn to literally 50 and that's you know you can't an operator can't adjust the combine fast enough in situations like that and i mean you end up adjusting it with your speed i mean you just got to slow down instead of changing all your settings all the time so i really like that for sure for you know going forward in your opinion, how does the CR11 differ from any other combine on the market, or, or your current combines? Because I know a few of you have ran other competitors recently, so uh, how does that differ from the <laughs> combines that you've sat in? I, I keep hearing the cab's different, but it, it's nice for everybody to understand. There are differences still. Cab comfort is, I, honestly, as a driver, is something that's really important to me, and that's probably my top priorities you know things that i really like yeah i kind of we've ran a few other colors too and uh <laughs> just when you're running our machines you don't like you engage the separator you literally don't even feel it, it and it's crazy because like you get into some other brands and i mean you're just sitting there all day long just shaking and that just drives me nuts that's <laughs> not that it. knocking sound yeah. when it goes in you're like, <laughs> 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 Yeah, definitely. Uh, like you said, cab comfort is a big thing. I'm, I mean, I'm not a small guy, and 
we demoed one and you guy got, got in and I'm like, I just hate this already. I, we, I didn't even pick anything with it. I just, I'm like, this is not, we don't need to buy one of these because it's, uh, you're just not comfortable. But uh, a big thing I think I noticed from this combine to a lot of the competitors is this one seems more simple on the outside. I, I really, I do, I mean, you know, then hooking the head up, but we demoed some other stuff and that was not a fun operation hooking the head up it took us like it took me it took me twice as long to get the head on and off and that was that just got you know takes your efficiency way down for the day too um you're probably kind of like me you can pretty much hook up and drop that head as a one-man operation most of the time and when i know exactly what you're talking about and you can't quite get there right and it's just a terrible <laughs> Yeah, it seems like these ones are a little more forgiving, though. You know, the CR machines are a little more forgiving when you pull up a little crooked. I've, I've done that a time or two, too. It makes you feel better. <laughs> well, boys, you didn't disappoint me. That's good. I never disappoint. Yeah, you do. How did you, do you feel about your performance on the panel? Top tier. I mean, I couldn't have done any better, I don't think. Yeah, I'm perfect. <laughs> Okay. All right, that's it for our commodity classic experience. Thanks for watching our video and we'll see you next time.